everyone, welcome to Coding with Chandler, and today's video is going to be on interfaces. Working with interfaces was definitely a bit tough when I started out in programming, so I thought why not give you guys a pretty kindergarten level example to give you guys um, a deep understanding on how interfaces work and what they're used for. So before I get started, I will give you guys a definition of an interface, what it actually is, and then we'll get started writing some code. One thing that will really help you understand what an interface is, is thinking of it as a blueprint. A blueprint demonstrates how something should appear or how something should be structured. Meaning anything that implements this blueprint must be built in a way that is structured the exact same way as the building blocks in the blueprint. Pretty much an interface is like a skeleton. Anything that implements this blueprint must have the same structure. It must be built in a similar way as described in the blueprint. Well, it's the same way with interfaces. So think of an interface as a code block that defines what its children should be structured as. So anything that implements this interface animal that I have up here must have a method called noise, it must have a method called eat, and it also must have a method called num of legs. So basically anything implementing an interface must have the methods that are specified in the interface. So anything that implements this interface must have these methods. An interface doesn't have any constructors, there's no need for one since interfaces can't be implemented, meaning you can't really create an object of an interface. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but interfaces also are public and abstract by default. If you don't know what an abstract method is, basically it's a method with no body that must be implemented by its children. So think of an abstract method as what you see here. It's pretty much a method with no body and anything that implements this interface will have an actual method with a body named noise. So you may be wondering if you're allowed to use static methods inside of an interface, and the answer is no. Because an interface is not a class, we are not allowed to give it static methods. Um, if you want to include both abstract methods and static methods in a class, use an abstract class. Another cool thing is we use the keyword implements when extending from an interface rather than using the keyword extends. So when you are trying to inherit from an interface, you will not be using the keyword extends, you will use the keyword implements instead. And then lastly, like I mentioned earlier, interfaces can't be instantiated, so I cannot create an object of animal. However, create objects of classes that are implementing an interface, you just can't create objects of an interface directly. So I hope that gives you guys a broad understanding of an interface. Think of this as a skeleton of what any children classes should contain. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. So let's get started. We have this interface called animal and we have our abstract methods right here. You may be wondering, how are these abstract? I don't see the keyword abstract. Well, IntelliJ will give you a warning simply because declaring these methods as abstract is redundant because by default they are abstract and they're also public by default, so you don't need to give it that modifier. So I declared my methods, I gave it string noise, string e, and int num of legs. When you are creating an interface, you wanna make sure that the methods actually correspond to what the interface is. In this case, we made an interface called animal and I gave it a few methods that um, demonstrate what an animal should have. It should make some sort of noise, it should eat, um, and an animal should have a certain number of legs. So I felt that those were the best methods to create for this interface. But if you were to be playing around with some code on your own and you made an interface called person, for example, you would want to give it methods that a person would do or have. Then over here we have another class called cat, and this class is implementing or extending from animal. Like I mentioned earlier, when you are inheriting from another class, you will not be using the keyword extends when you are using interface, you will use implements. And then here you can see all these methods that are overriding from animal. That's because, like I mentioned earlier, anything that implements an interface must have the methods that the interface declared. So you can see we have our method like noise, eat, num of legs, and that's because we declared those over here. But the main difference is that these methods actually have a body. And you cannot really have a method body in abstract methods that are in interfaces. So over here, when you're actually inheriting from an interface, that's when you would actually want to give it a body, give it some sort of functionality. So for simplicity purposes, I decided to return a string for noise, same with eat, and then num of legs returns four. 
Um, like I said, you can structure this however you would like. I'm just using this as an example. And then down here in my main method, I created an object of cat so that I could actually invoke its methods and use it. Um, I named it Sitka because that's the name of my cat. <laughs> and then I'm printing out the values um, that are being returned from these methods that I originally created in my animal interface. So I hope that explains how interfaces work. Now I'm just going to create another Java class, call it dog, pretty much do the same thing that I did here. We can do it together. Feel free to code along um, so that we can continue to understand how these work. So I'm going to create a new Java class and call it dog. I like to use dog and cat as an example just because it's super easy. And then we are going to implement from animal. So now you see that we got this red error and it's upset because we haven't implemented those methods that were declared in animal. So if you click, if you're using IntelliJ, you can just click this red light bulb and then hit implement methods and it'll show you the list of methods that you need to implement. If you click okay, it'll automatically do that for you or you could type it on your own. So after you override the methods that you need, that's when you would give it the functionality that you want. Um, because a dog barks, I'm just going to return a string that says like wolf or something. And then for the eat method, I'm going to return something that a dog would like to eat. So we can say I eat dog treats. Nemo Blake's is four. To make sure this is working properly, I like to create the main method and actually invoke these methods to make sure I did everything properly. So I'm just going to create an object of dog, I'll name it Onyx, that's my old dog's name. And we are making this a new instance of dog. And now I'm just going to print out the values of these functions that we created up there. So I'm going to do an onyx.noise which should return wolf on x dot eat, which will return I eat dog treats, and lastly on x dot num of legs, which will give me four. So before I run this, I have to edit my configurations and make sure that it's running the dog class that I just created. So let's run this and see what happens. Sweet. So you can see that we get wolf, I eat dog treats, and four printed out to our console. Anyways, that is all I have for today. That is pretty much my beginner level overview of what an interface is, how it works. Um, they do get a little bit more complex down the road, but I think if you understand the basics, what I just described in this video, you should be able to complete simple tasks. If you know anybody who might need help or if you think this video would be helpful for somebody, please share this video. Comment below any thoughts, any video ideas, if you need help with something, I would be more than glad to help with some of your coding tasks, so comment below a problem and maybe I will make a video in the future on that issue. You can find this code on GitHub if you would like to use it, reuse it, share it with a friend, go for it. I will leave my GitHub link down in the description below. I will see you guys in a couple weeks.